I think community is one of the most overworked words in the English language and, and it really needs some definition. When you look at community regeneration, uh, you can observe an interesting feature which is people who live in communities often use organic language. We talk about seeds planting, about branching out. People who control the budgets, both regionally and nationally, use not organic language but mechanical language. They talk about buttons and levers and triggers and outcomes. And one of the problems that we've had over the last 10 years talking about community regeneration is that you cannot have mechanical solutions to organic problems. In other words, you've got to understand why and how communities die and why and how communities can live again. I think we're at the cusp of trying to rethink what polit politics are and the political party is and communities of interest and how people come together to act on their communities and to be creative in relation to their world. And I don't think we really know what the relationship is of the political party anymore. It isn't that the politician is clearly the representative of it and it isn't clear that the political party represents the most articulate members of the community who are articulating for the whole general community. The price of being in politics today is the disappearance of individuality, eccentricity. Uh, we can count really on two hands the politicians who stand apart from one another, who don't look exactly the same, and who are prepared to say things that their parties aren't going to like. I think what we're struggling with as a society is how to both belong, be recognised, participate, and yet stand out. In Africa, there's an understanding called Ubuntu, which is that you only find your own meaning in relation to and with other people. A lot of people talk about individuality. I would rather talk about personhood because individuality says something about being separate from the community, whereas personhood is about an individual person finding his or her identity in relationship with other persons. I think that those who make up the commentariat have a very schizophrenic view of what it means to be an individual and what it means to be successful. Creative people tend to be individualists. They don't go around in a, a herd or a horde. And I think that that needs sorting out. And I think we need to value people's individuality and indeed to value their eccentricity.